Thanks for joining us here in Geneva for the last day of the World Summit on Information Society Forum 2017. I am delighted to be joined by the events coordinator, Gitanjali Shah. Gitanjali, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Charlotte. It's a pleasure to be here. So, Gitanjali, the WISIS Forum has been organized, has started uh, in 2009. Here this year, I've interviewed many people from government, civil society, businesses, agencies, and they all have one thing in common. They think it's crucial to be here for this forum. And that's a testimony to what you're doing. Yes, Charlotte, indeed, uh, you know, we are all here together because uh, we want to make sure that uh, uh, I, we can provide an enabling platform for WISIS stakeholders uh, to, who are working in the area of ICTs for SDGs uh, to ensure that ICTs can play that enabling, the crucial role that they are supposed to play in the implementation of the SDGs. This year, we had an uh, unprecedented number of uh, participants. Uh, we had more than 2,500 announced participants. We had more than 500 uh, uh, high levels with more than 80 ministers, vice ministers, um, and more than 200 workshops. So you can see that it is a, a hub of uh, creativity, of innovation. Uh, there was an announcement by the ITU and ILO on uh, digital skills for digital jobs for the youth. Uh, there was an announcement by ITU and UNEP on e-waste. Uh, so it is the perfect venue for collaboration, for innovation. Uh, we had more than uh, uh, 50 children from all over the world participating in the first ever hackathon. Uh, they were working on Hack for Health. And with FAO we, and IEEE, IEEE, we already announced next year's theme. It would be on Hack Against Hunger. So you can see there were a lot of activities going on. The event was very content rich, wasn't it, with more than 200 workshops. I spoke to many participants and they were very happy to discover new technologies, new things and new themes like artificial intelligence, blockchain, smart cities um, and things like virtual and augmented reality as well. There was a lot there, wasn't there? Yes, uh, in fact, Charlotte, the uh, agenda and the program are built through a, a multi-stakeholder open consultation process, and we are really unique in this aspect. It is completely crowdsourced. So all the 200, more than 200 workshops that you attended this week, uh, they were basically built over months of consultations with the different stakeholders, and uh, this uh, content-rich uh, uh, workshop uh, uh, component, the WISIS forum component was the result of it. And um, uh, you know that uh, various business multi-stakeholders are here from different parts of the world and uh, they were actually identifying the uh, key trends the opportunities and challenges the WISIS action line brings in advancing the ICTs for SDGs. So you've raised the bar really high this year. What can we expect next year? Oh, we are raising the bar every year and uh, we hope that uh, we can have an even bigger event uh, next year. Um, we um, uh, also just to uh, note that the WISIS Forum is outcome oriented. Uh, the, we do not have negotiated outcomes, but we have a multi-stakeholder outcome from each and every workshop and the high-level policy sessions and the high-level policy statements are only already online with the key trends, the key outcomes, the key opportunities and challenges identified during the 14 sessions by the ministers and other high levels. Gitanjali, what about the people who could not attend the event this year? Uh, that's a very good question and you know the WISIS Forum is inclusive you know, and we try all our best to bring in the last mile to uh, voice their ideas and opinions on ICTs for SDGs. Um, we have remote participation enabled for each and every session that was held at the WISIS Forum and thousands, thousands of WISIS stakeholders uh, were joining us uh, at each and every sessions from uh, long distances and contributing, making their suggestions heard and giving us their ideas, sharing their case studies. So this is a great platform, uh, you know, of remote participation where uh, you can also reduce the carbon footprint and you can be present out here without being actually, without traveling to Geneva physically. So Gitanjali, what would you say to encourage people to attend the WISIS Forum next year? 
Um, the WISIS Forum is the key UN multi-stakeholder event that brings together the WISIS stakeholder community working in the area of ICT for SDGs. And uh, this is an event where we want stakeholders to make their voices hear, heard, to share their uh, success stories, to, um, uh, to enable networks, and to foster partnerships. And uh, we, you will see in the outcomes that will be announced during the closing ceremony, there are so many for, uh, partnerships that have emerged out of the VSIS Forum. And this is the key, this is the key spirit that we need to see at the VSIS Forum, that you come here, you network, you share, and at the end, you go home with partnerships. This is the key. Gitanjali, thank you very much. Gintanjali Shah, WISIS coordinator. WISIS is the world's largest event for the ICT for Development community. And I heard there was renewed support this year from the ministers, UN agencies, and regional layers as well. So thank you very much. Thank you.